everyone, Metro Taco here. Um, well, this is the third part of the video, and it's labeled that technology for the reason because let's be fair, it's 21st century. It's about time we got with the technology, got with the times, and language learning has also evolved from just reading books. So uh, let's see. The first tool I have up here is something I play all too much. Um, my girlfriend can definitely. Uh, <laughs> name me on that and this is my PSP now I don't know how well you guys would be able to see that but uh, for example the PSP comes in uh, Mandarin Cantonese uh, Korean Japanese Ruski Russian Portuguese Netherlands Italian French uh, Espanol English and Deutsch you can change it to the language that best suits you and It'll be perfect. Um, let's see. Next is the Nintendo DS. Uh, this is a 3DS, but a regular DS also works pretty well. Um, the reason why I like the Nintendo DS is that a lot of the games are region free. So, for example, um, I have. Let's see. I have Phoenix Wright. There we go. I have Phoenix Wright. Um, and because the game sold so well in America, and I guess Level 5 or whoever publishes the game didn't re-publish all the stuff. It just didn't work out. And uh, I'll get to that noise in a second. But um, yeah, 3DS, a lot of the games are region free. A lot of the games come in multilingual um, speak, uh, like versions. So you can change your DS to whatever language you want. And a lot of the games usually translate or have secondary uh, voice and text settings. Just for a game, so a good uh, a good game if you're really into a Sonic fan. Language like language uh, is you know change to any language. Sonic uh, Sega Team Sega or Sega Team does an amazing job of translating stuff. So that's the video game portion. Um, next, your phone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S3. It's an amazing piece of equipment. Droid. Uh, this is has 4.1 on it, so you may not be like uh, your first choice, but. Joy 4.1, the language settings, language customization, the language, anything that you want to do is definitely available for Droid. I'm um, pretty sure the same thing works for Apple, but another video. So, next, Kindle. Um, the world of books, ebooks, ebooks are much easier to get now. Um, Amazon has made that a lot easier to even apply. Uh, I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan, so the first thing I got was a. Uh, a version of Sherlock Holmes that comes in Russian and it has every single one of his stories translated into Russian but that same person also translated into Portuguese translated into Hindi translated into a series of languages and Amazon's language support if you if your your Kindle does not do a certain language Amazon works on their updates like crazy their customer service support I've never had an issue with so hey if you want to one day learn Hausa and you're like, hey, Amazon, where the house will love at? They'll, they'll, they'll definitely, you know, work with you. So just let them know, and they usually really get on it. Um, next is my MP3 player. Now, this is for language courses only. This is a Philips uh, Muse player. This is really cheap. I got it for about 40 bucks. It's really damaged, really used. And the reason why I got it is, one, the recorder is amazing on this. Like, it's better than my phone. <laughs> and that's hard. That's a, this is a brand new phone that came out in 2012, and the recorder on this thing is amazing. Um, the format you can have it recorded in is also amazing. Um, I've never had an issue with this before. The sorting method is really good. The only problem I have with this is, you know, the random's not that great, but since I'm using it in a very sequential use, never really need it. Uh, the next thing is the Ematic. Now, I don't know what version of Emac this is. This says it's the EM7 8 gig, but this is probably one of the, Emac probably makes one of the best video players humanly possible, because um, this thing plays anything, like any format, MKV, OGGs, uh, anything that you can find on the web in a video format, you can definitely get it with this. Um, I know this was a real small segment on technology, because I'm pretty sure you guys are like, where's the translators at? Well, translators are really obvious, so it's not something I really brought up, but this is more alternative things, um, uh, especially if you're a gamer, if you're a reader, if you're a mobile person on a Blackberry, there's always language options for you. 
So, thank you for watching the video. I really hope you had a lot of fun. And uh, hey, get with the technology. Hit me up on metrotaku at gmail.com or at Twitter at metrotaku. Thanks again. And comment, subscribe, or like. Later. Bye.